Man, I wish I could take the bus more often, but it is just not reliable and I never know what I'm gonna run into. Luckily, there's a new startup that is uh, redefining the way uh, transportation is done. It's sort of like the Metro bus meets Uber. And I am really excited to have Abtin R uh, Rostamian and Jimmy Koo here all the way from uh, San Francisco. Guys, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks absolutely. Us. Thank you. Was there anything that you did during those pitches when you started to see the heads nodding, uh, when you started to see kind of the, the light bulb go off in your audience? Did, did you change the way you were pitching at that moment? Um, well, I think, you know, the pitch wasn't really a straight pitch, too. It was more of just a conversation. It's like, look, you know, the same thing we, we talked about earlier as well, too, is that um, we really don't have options to public transport, and public transport is necessary. So we're creating this like hybrid approach to transportation that gives people an additional option. It's like the, what FedEx and UPS did for the Postal Service. Um, there's things that FedEx and UPS can do that they can't just because of the nature of how they are and there's things that the US Postal Service could do. Like UPS and FedEx can never deliver a 40 cent mail, uh, right? It's just not yep. feasible for them. So it's not that one replaces the other, it's like we need other options to serve people because there's, there's 7 billion people on the planet. It's impossible for any single uh, transportation system or one or two or three to serve everyone's needs. There's plenty of space and lots of opportunity and this is kind of like the ground floor of transportation innovation that we're entering. Um, so I think that sparked the giant potential in the industry. Um, and two was, again, the pain points. Um, when you just start talking about pain points, um, people get it. Um, I'm sure similar conversations happened when it was pain points with the taxi industry, and that's why we have you know, options for taxis now. So it's, it's something everybody understands and feels. Yeah, and then depending on the person, um, sometimes they're more interested in certain aspects of it, and that's where you know apps will go into more detail on certain elements, whether it's kind of the social good that we're doing or some of the financials that they're interested in. I mean, there's different elements of the business, and you know, Apt and I had gone through it over and over. How do we do marketing? How do we get users? How do we do you know like all of those things? And we're willing to dive into any of those elements, and it depends on who we're talking to. Sometimes they're more interested in kind of the social elements of what we're building, and how it could impact the world, um, and sometimes they're really interested in some of the other elements like oh this is really great in terms of the, the pain point you're addressing and how you can actually get the users that you're talking about. 